experience throughout your career, both yeah. as a player and also being at a program like Kentucky. Um, what are you able to bring over to Duke from a, you know, such a talented and historical program like Kentucky, besides the competitiveness? Right. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is just, you know, Duke and Kentucky have always been, like you're saying, kind of walk the same path as like those blue bloods so you know but there's also differences you know what I mean and, and what they do and how they do things uh, so the biggest thing is just not just from Kentucky but everywhere I've been is just kind of bringing an outside perspective of just different things that have been done different places but also been successful and just kind of putting it in the atmosphere to see like you know if it's something that we need to do here or if it's something that we could tweak a little bit that could maybe take us over the top in something. But besides that, you know, um, Coach K has done a great job, obviously, of having a great foundation here. And I think John will do a great job of continuing it, but also in his own kind of way. What was it about John that made you say yes when he came calling? Uh, once you get to sit with him, once you get to know him and understand what drives him, uh, just his competitiveness, um, you know, the one thing, you know, you, that you always think about uh, – with him being so young, taking this job is like the seriousness of, and you know how we would take it. But you know, you all those things eliminate right away once you get around him, once you get to know him. Um, and he knows fully, you know, what he's in for and what he wants to do. Um, and I'm just happy to be here to help. He went completely outside of the box. K never <laughs> passed maybe his first six years. Yeah. He never hired anybody from outside the Duke system. Yeah. But John obviously felt comfortable with you. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things that you felt like you brought to the table that, that John liked? Um, I think I, for me at least, uh, probably better question for him, but I think for me it's like I have been at the level uh, to, to be able to do the job, you know, recruiting at a high level, recruiting high players, uh, you know, people – you know, I've done a lot of the similarities that have made them successful here at Duke. Yeah. Um, so I think that was a big thing that it wasn't really going to be much of a learning curve um, in the sense of what he wants to do and what he's looking for, especially from a recruiting aspect. I think that was one of the biggest things. And with him leaving the assistant coaching job uh, here, you know, I think he felt that there was kind of a hole that needed to be placed, you know, in some of the stuff that he, he did uh, in the past. Resume has to look good with Kentucky and Duke on it. John said he wants all y'all to act like a head coach. Right. Has he said that to you, and are you adhering to that? Uh, yeah, you know, he's, uh, he's giving us the autonomy to kind of coach in practice, yeah. uh, you know, so he's giving everybody their kind of what he wants them to look for, what he wants them to coach, what he wants them to be on, and he tells us, you know, when you see it, blow your whistle. So he's giving everybody a voice in practice. Um, but we also have – an understanding of him being the head coach, you right. know, so not kind of overstepping, you know, what he's given us to do and letting him be who he is, which is the head coach, and then us just kind of really assisting him in what he needs. Thank you.